Hey, what's going on guys? Wayne here today on Equipment World. We're going to be taking a look at Komatsu's latest update to its lineup of mining wheel loaders, the WA800-8. Now the 800 is anything but small, but it is the smallest of Komatsu's pit loaders. And like its big Dash 8 brother, the WA900-8, it's getting updates in the way of power, durability, comfort, automation, and more. So let's get into it. Weighing in at 254,700 pounds, the WA800 has a bucket capacity that ranges from 14.4 to 16 cubic yards, and it's built for quarry, aggregate, and mining jobs. Now, the standard configuration of the WA800 comes with a 15 cubic yard bucket, and it's seen here in a 16 cubic yard configuration. Now, this is a loader designed for loading haul trucks anywhere from 60 to 100 tons in size. To get specific, if you're looking at a haul truck in the 60 to 70 ton range, you're looking at about three passes with the WA800. Now, when you move up to that 100 ton size range, that's when you're looking at it taking more like four to five passes with this loader. Now, since durability and maintenance are going to be top of mind with a machine this size and these type of applications, let's go into those details first. To begin with, Komatsu has overhauled both the front and rear frame on this loader to create what it says is the most durable chassis of any WA800 to date. Now, they've also increased the durability of the loader linkage as well with a new design that increases the width of the arm plate. And on the maintenance side, in addition to a ground level service center, you're also going to find walkways, catwalks, handrails, and tie off points located throughout this machine to make accessing those checkpoints easier. Komatsu has also made some upgrades in the way of increasing the time between servicing certain components on this machine. Now, first, let's talk about brakes. Now, not only do you have standard brake cooling on the WA800, but you've also got redesigned wet multi-disc service brakes that have not only extended service intervals on this machine, but have also reduced the amount of time it takes to perform maintenance. There's also a standard engine pre-lubrication system here, and Komatsu has also increased the overhaul intervals on both the transmission and the axles. Now, moving on to power and performance, there's several improvements to talk about here. The WA800-8 is powered by a newer version of the same 12-cylinder turbocharged Komatsu engine model that was found on the previous generation WA800-3E0. But this is a tier four final model and it ups power by 5% to 854 horsepower. Komatsu is combining the power boost provided by this engine with three systems that are really aimed at tailoring the machine's output to the task at hand. Now, those systems are smart loader logic, which varies torque based on how demanding the application at hand is. Then you've got load sensing hydraulics, which not only optimize hydraulic output based on the load on the machine, but also regulate hydraulic oil temperatures. And finally, there's throttle lock with auto deceleration. Now the throttle lock is going to maintain high work equipment performance when that's needed. And the auto deceleration feature is going to drop the engine to lower idle speeds when all of that power isn't needed. Plus, Komatsu has also implemented a couple of features that are focused on reducing tire slippage by optimizing the torque at the wheels, also known as rim pull. Now, first up is a modulation clutch that gives you, the operator, the ability to precisely control the amount of torque that's going to the wheels so that you can match that torque to whatever ground conditions you're working in. But there's also a variable traction control system that if you want, will manage all of that torque optimization for you. With variable traction control is on this model and one distinguishing feature between this model and the model that replaces the Dash 3 E0 is that it's equipped with a modulation clutch. And what that allows operators to do is keep engine RPMs high and have real precise control of their travel. Um, so with the addition of that modulation clutch and moving away from the transmission disconnect, it also allows us to introduce this variable traction control system. And we all know that on a wheel loader this large, that tires are a considerable portion of your owning and operating costs. So with the introduction of that variable traction control system, we're also able to extend tire life and reduce or, um, tire slippage when uh, digging in the face. Now, when you combine the power boost from the new engine, the various optimization systems, and all of those improvements in the way of maintenance and durability, really the result on the WA800-8 is gonna be faster cycle times, uh, lower fuel costs, and lower total cost of ownership, which is not bad for a generational update. All right, so let's move on to the technology side 
of the WA800-8 because really apart from those, those big gains and uh, cost savings on this machine, the other really big kind of half of this story is gonna be technology and more specifically automation. Now, just as they did on the WA900-8, Komatsu is introducing a suite or a combination of loader automation features on the WA800 that really allow this loader to dig and dump with little to no operator input. Now, those features are automatic dig, semi-auto approach, and semi-auto dump, and here's how they work. Now, automatic dig takes just about all of the work involved in digging material out from a pile off of your hands. Once you've pulled the loader up to a pile with the bucket at a digging ready height, which Komatsu classifies as three feet, nine inches or lower, you then push the dedicated auto dig switch and let the system do just about all of the work for you. An automatic kickdown switch can lower the machine into first gear. And as you push the bucket into the pile, the system automatically curls the bucket to collect material before lifting the boom back to horizontal. Of course, there is a limitation to this feature. Komatsu says that it works best with uniform material like stockpile. And for operators who are working in blasted material or bank material, Komatsu recommends that you just kind of keep it off entirely. Then there's semi-automatic approach. Now this system is designed to make those V-shaped trips to loading haul trucks faster and easier. And when enabled, this system automatically raises the boom to horizontal when the machine is placed in reverse with a full bucket. And once you move the machine forward toward the truck, the boom is raised to an upper stop point that is preset by the operator. Now, after you dump the bucket and move the machine back into reverse, the machine is gonna automatically raise the bucket to level and then lower the boom back to a position preset by you. Now, while you're using the semi-automatic approach feature, you can either dump the load yourself into the truck or you can engage the semi-auto dump feature. With the push of a button, semi-auto dump is going to automatically hold the boom position while dumping the bucket until the bucket reaches horizontal. And then it's gonna raise the boom while continuing to tilt the bucket to a full dump position. Now, these are features that are focused on reducing operator fatigue brought on by very repetitive cycle work. And when you use these features on the WA800-8 or the WA900-8, it can really reduce operator input all the way down to basically steering in between piles and steering from pile to truck while the machine does all the digging and dumping. Now, despite this focus on reducing operator fatigue, whenever it comes to automation, especially automation that is basically handling the core functionality of an operator's machine, those operators are going to hold a little bit of skepticism toward it. However, as Joe explains here, the cool thing about this feature set is that you can use all three of them in kind of any combination that you want. Whatever part of the process you don't wanna do, you can let the machine handle that. Our operators wanna fill the bucket. They wanna be in charge of the loader themselves. But what's really nice about the systems that are on this loader is you could use them all in conjunction with each other or you could split them off and use them independently of each other. So to your point, most operators like to fill their own bucket, but then if you enable semi-auto approach, the loader will actually lift the loader arms, the boom, to the upper detent position. To your point, I think there is uh, there's some validity to that question, but I'm seeing a lot of operators take advantage of the auto approach and the automatic dump functionality on this wheel loader. Now, since we've been talking about operator fatigue, Komatsu has done more work in the way of reducing operator fatigue with a redesigned cab on the WA800 as well. Now, not only is this cab larger than the one found on the previous generation 800, the Dash 3E0, but Komatsu has also improved visibility with a new pillarless design that has more glass and less obstruction. Entering and exiting the cab is also easier thanks to new left and right 45 degree stairways as well as walkways in front of the cab and on the rear counterway. And once you're inside, you're gonna find a standard trainer seat alongside a higher capacity heated and ventilated air suspension seat and a high resolution seven inch monitor. This cab is larger than what we would traditionally put on the WA 1200-6 wheel loader. Um, so it's got a full air ride seat, it's heated, it's ventilated. The work equipment controls as well as the steering joystick are integrated into the seat suspension. Uh, Bluetooth radio is standard. So it is, to your point, a complete facelift compared to what we've seen with the Dash 3 E0. And one more tidbit in the way of operator comfort, Komatsu says the ride on this machine is gonna be smoother thanks to an electronically controlled suspension. An available option on the WA800-8 is Komatsu's Com Vision system, which kind of gives you that bird's eye view that you see in more and more machines and, and a lot of cars and trucks. 
today. And it gives you that bird's eye view of the machine and your surroundings with a system of six cameras and an in cab monitor. Now this system also incorporates radar so it can actually sound an alarm whenever it detects a person or an obstacle that's in your work area. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up our look at the new Komatsu WA800-8 mining loader. Go ahead and uh, hop into those comments and let us know what you think about this machine. What do you think about the added durability, the reduced cost of ownership, all those automation features? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this video and found the information in it useful in any kind of way, especially in your next machine purchase, please do us a favor and hit that like button below. It really does help our channel out. And if you want more videos and more coverage of the latest construction and mining equipment, head over to our website at equipmentworld.com. And while you're there, subscribe to our daily newsletter. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe right here on YouTube and hit that bell. Turn on notifications so that you're receiving up to the minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate your time and we'll see you next time.